Hello, welcome to my first ever unboxing. This is something that I do. I'm not really a mint condition collector, but um, this turned up and I thought it would be worthwhile. So to give you some context, uh, I'm currently living in Okinawa, an island in Japan, and they have these really great uh, secondhand stores called Hard Off. <laughs> and they often have record sections and they're often absolutely worthless, but I got a few interesting things just today. <laughs> Uh, this was uh, kind of an interesting 7-inch where a band called The Tigers uh, imitating a Buffalo Springfield album cover. I thought that might be interesting for 110 yen. This is uh, Lily playing Dulcimer uh, on her album Nothing by Mouth. I have no idea what that sounds like, but it was cheap and it might be interesting. But the big deal is this, an apparently sealed Beatles box set called Music is from Me to You. Um, I actually saw this and ignored it the first time. It was 5,500 yen, which really isn't that cheap. It's about 33 quid or $40. And looking at it, I assumed it was some shoddy um, best of thing. And then on the back, you can see it's got Susie Quattro, Three Dog Night, Credence Clearwater. It wasn't very clear to me precisely what this was. If I looked at this little hole, perhaps I could have worked it out. In any case, I did some uh, research. And I found out what it really is. It's um, red and blue albums in a special Japanese box. It looks sealed. Now, Japanese record shops are quite keen on resealing things. So I don't know if this is sealed from the factory or if this has been resealed since. That's the thing I'm curious about. Some little bit of damage there. Nothing to be too worried about. But if this is a factory sealed red and blue album, then I'm more than happy to pay uh, 5,500 yen. Okay, let's go. I'm going to damage it as I open this. I'll just make a little... Okay, here we go. I mean, if I... It's almost sinful to do this if that's been packed since uh, 1973. Or later, it just kind of seems wrong, but there it goes. There it goes. Here we are. Music is from me to you. Okay. So it does look like there is some wear and there's a little bit of damage there. It's not exactly encouraging me that this has never been opened before. Again, a little bit of wear there. Here is the red. Pretty great condition there. And what's this? Oh, okay. Look at this. Beatles Forever. John Lennon Yakarono. So the, oh, so this is um I guess the contemporary albums by the solo Beatles at that time. Wow, it's like a full magazine, all in Japanese. Rock Now 75, that gives you some sort of idea of when this was made. So, correct me, I think Red and Blue came out 73, end of 73, start of 74. So, I guess this was compiled soon after for the Japanese market. <laughs> How funny. John Lord, the Soft Machine, The Whalers, Jimmy Cliff, The Band. Another thing on the Beach Boys. <laughs> The Beatles discography, 1967 to 1970. Oh wow, look at this. That's really wonderful. Whole essay there. In Japanese. And what looks like a complete alphabetical list of Beatles songs across the universe, act naturally. Wow. And another one to go with 1962-66. Okay. 
It's interesting, it seems to be favouring the American releases. I don't know, maybe these are the Japanese releases. When my Japanese improves, perhaps I'll be able to read a little bit of that. And what else do we have here? Oh my goodness, it keeps coming. <gasps> Amazing, massive poster. With a, a not too familiar, I'm guessing, that was a 1965 shot from the filming of Help. At a guess quite special. And finally, wow. So again, it's pretty detailed. It features albums including um, Electronic sound. So it's details about the post Beatles movies. And here's the one for the red album. Just presumably a little bit briefer. <laughs> so it starts with 1934. Guessing that's the Ringo's birth. No, that can't be right because 1940 and then 1942. So if that's George, and that's Paul, and that's John, that's not Ringo's age. Hmm, don't know. And you've got all the lyrics there in English and in Japanese. This is really a lovely, lovely set. Receipts? What's that? Mystery. Some Google translation might be followed. But, uh, obviously, those, all, those things are all lovely, but the more important thing are the records themselves. What do we think? I'm thinking these have never been opened and played. I mean, some discoloration there. Would that happen even inside a sealed record? Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolute zero spindle wear. That is a never touched, never opened until this day. Side one of the red album. Stunning. Wow. Side two. And we're getting the same story. Absolutely impeccable. Stunning, stunning, stunning. How this ended up in a second hand shop in Okinawa, I do not know. But I'm very happy that it did. Okay. Let's look again at the Blue Album. This is curious, isn't it? I mean, if this has been sealed all of this time, how has that occurred? I don't know. Also, looking at the box, I do see some slight damage there. Yeah. Nothing to concern me too much. Okay, let's have a look. Pretty great. It's like some very slight creasing. But again, that's an absolutely impeccable, untouched, unplayed blue album. Wow. So this is uh, EAP9034B. This side too, EAP9034. 
five. EIP 9032B. And EIP 9033. Now, I'm not knowledgeable enough to tell you whether or not this is an especially good pressing. Perhaps I can ask Andrew at Parlogram to uh, advise me on that. What do we see here? Okay, so Beatles Red, side one. 54-YW3W Beatles Red side 2 YX906 and then some further things 1S4 and then some further things which I can barely even make out Beatles Red side 3 is YX907 and then further on it says 2S And Beatles Red Side 4, YX908. And a little bit later it says 1S2. If anybody wants to give us some guidance on what all of that stuff means, I'd be really, really grateful. Uh, let's have a look at the blue. This again is a YX, YX909 with 1S2. On the B. YX again, YEX910, 910. And then it simply says 1S. Side three of same, uh, YEX, EX911, and again 1S2. And side four of blue is EX912, and again 1S. It's interesting that only one of those eight sides was not a YEX. I don't know what the significance of that is. If you want to inform me of that, please be my guest. So there you have it, that is music from me to you, the red and blue albums in a lovely Japanese box with lots of lovely extras, and I think untouched since 1975. I'm going to treat these ones with extra special care. Time now to listen to Lily and her dulcimer, and of course the uh, Buffalo Springfield baiting tigers with their hit single, A White Dove. <laughs> 